Hello again! Welcome back to the channel. If you're like me and you like changing backpacks every now and then, maybe you're a content creator or a creative professional and you need to organize your EDC tech accessories, dongles, cables, power banks, batteries, you name it. Maybe you're a frequent traveler and find packing and unpacking too cumbersome. Even if your backpack has built-in organization, sometimes you just want to keep everything in one place. Especially if your backpack is one big black hole. You try random pouches and packing cubes to keep your gear together, but it doesn't give you the protection and organization that you need. Maybe your current tech pouch lacks in size, and you just want to bring every accessory you own for those work from office or work from anywhere situations. If you check any of these boxes, then the alpaca tech case just might be the best tech pouch for you. Initially, I thought of buying the Belroy tech pouch from Boarding Gate in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia when we visited a few months ago, but I felt that it was too small for my needs. I wanted to have that flexibility of being able to bring most of my tech EDC essentials, even if it meant that it was going to add a bit of bulk to my loadout. Alpaca was definitely top of mind when it came to ultra-functional, high-quality tech kits and EDC pouches. When we went back to the Philippines, I was curious if Alpaca being sold on Lazada and on Shopee had good reviews, and I stumbled upon Marlin Gear. So much positive feedback from like-minded Pinoy EDC enthusiasts. I knew that it may take a few months for me to finally visit my brother and his family in Sydney, and also buy my dream alpaca slings. So I pulled the trigger, cause again, I couldn't wait. I also messaged the store via their Instagram account, and they said that they only started selling alpaca in the Philippines last year. Consider me a loyal customer! On Shopee and Lazada via the Marlim Gear official store, it's 4,700 pesos, while on the alpaca website, it's 79 US dollars. The 2.5 liter alpaca elements tech case in dark green is made with an X-Pac VX21 material. X-Pac is the same material used in sailcloth and is lightweight, durable, and 100% waterproof. You can find this on the front, sides, and bottom of the bag. Except the back, which is made of some sort of abrasion-resistant fabric. Branding is subtle and doesn't scream out loud, but you still know it's an alpaca bag. It also has this D-ring for stabilization when worn as a sling, but I never got to use it for that purpose. You can definitely hook light items with a carabiner. For the dimensions, the length is 24cm, for the height, it's 15.5cm, and for the depth, it's 9cm or 3.54 inches. And it weighs 260 grams. It has YKK waterproof AquaGuard zippers on the front quick access pocket and the main compartment, giving you peace of mind if this is in your bag and there's a leak from your water bottle, or if you're wearing this as a sling and it drains. Zippers are also easy to open and close without much resistance and are silent enough. Let's open the front quick access pocket, and here you can immediately see the bright blood orange Honeycomb 200D ripstop nylon giving you high visibility. In this compartment, I usually keep all my cables, like my Anchor Lightning to USB-A cable because I'm still using an old iPhone, and I also use this to charge my AirPods, my USB-C to USB-C cable which I use to charge my iPad, my Anchor USB-C to USB-A cable which I use to charge my power bank. And lastly, here's the strap that comes with the tech case. And later, I'll show you how to turn this tech pouch into a minimalist sling. Now that the pocket is empty and you get a better view of the honeycomb nylon, and I also want to show you how large the pocket is. It can actually fit this minimalist wallet that I got from Malaysia. It's also spacious enough for other small wallets from Sacred and Belroy. The pocket is even large enough for my old iPhone 6S Plus. This quick access compartment also has a cable pass-through so you can keep a power bank inside while your phone is charging in the front compartment or while you're holding it. The hole, however, is too small for my lightning cable and is better for smaller USB-C cables. 
The main compartment allows you to take advantage of this accordion-style organization with plenty of thoughtfully designed pockets for all your tech EDC gear. It doesn't have to be all tech gear as I've seen people use this as a pencil case or even as a dot kit. In this pen slot, I keep a cheap stylus for my iPad. Aside from your stylus, you can place your favorite pen here. The first slip pocket is where I keep my AirPods. Here, in the second slip pocket, is where I normally place my wired Audio-Technica earphones, and the pockets can also be a convenient spot to keep receipts and lose cash. The first large space in front of the slip pockets are used to keep my two Western digital hard drives. This 1TB black one is for photos, Photoshop files, and storage for all my YouTube videos, while this 2TB hard drive is for my backups and Final Cut project files, which tend to take a lot of space. Notice that this pocket is not completely closed off and this allows the compartment to expand when needed, making it great for large flat items. Try to avoid placing small accessories that may slip into other areas of the pouch. The two internal zippered pockets are the best for the smallest of items. Let's open the first internal zippered pocket. Here you can find three small slip pockets with the middle one being the largest. This is where I place two of my 64GB transcend thumb drives that I use when I present my lectures in school. Inside the smaller left pocket is where I keep my extra SanDisk SD card. The third small pocket on the right hand side can be used for something like extra SIM cards when you travel. This battery for my Sony A6000 unfortunately doesn't fit, and you can never have enough extra batteries for a camera that's this old. I also kept the alpaca tag and the Marlim Gear thank you card that came with the purchase. I also have a card reader from Vention so I can easily transfer files to either my hard drive or straight to my iPad Air. My USB-C to 3.55 jack adapter so I can use my monitor headphones with my iPad Air. And lastly, the 6.35mm jack that is used to connect my monitor headphones to my audio interface from M-Audio. If you decide to fill this out, note that it will eat into the space of the first large internal compartment. For the second large internal space, I have here my Logitech wireless mouse. USB-C charging brick old ASUS power bank, my 33 watt anchor charging brick that allows you to charge two devices at the same time with USB-C and USB-A, and lastly, my 20,000 milliampere anchor power bank. With the tech case almost empty, now you can clearly see the beautiful blood orange honeycomb 200D ripstop nylon that Alpaca is using. There's also a second zippered compartment which I normally use for all my dongles. Here, you can find my USB hub from Ugreen, a generic HDMI to VGA cable for the older projectors that we have in the university, a DisplayPort to VGA cable that I use for my old MacBook Air, and lastly, a DisplayPort to HDMI dongle that's also for my MacBook Air. And you'd think that we'd be done by now, but there's actually another pocket behind this one that's empty. And it's large enough for my passport, an iPad mini, or a Kindle. If you find this video useful so far, please consider to like and subscribe as it allows us to continue making reviews and videos like this one. Were you able to count the number of pockets? It's 11 pockets of organization. And if we count the pen holder, it's 12 pockets in total. For the cable pass through found inside the quick access pocket, I was able to insert a USB C cable, but I found it tough to insert my lightning cable from Anchor. How do you see yourself using this pouch? Comment down below. Now that the bag is empty and flat, let's turn it into a minimalist sling. 
using the strap that came with the tech case. The strap is made with seatbelt like material and the thinness is just right for a 2.5 liter sling. It wasn't that easy to attach the buckles and I found myself using both hands. I found that it was better to hook it downwards into the attachment point, then I used my right hand to hold one end of the buckle and gave it a push, then used my left index finger and thumb to close it. Maybe it was made in such a way that it was gonna be extra secure compared to your typical Duraflex and Fidlock buckles. This is how I'd use it as a sling. Car keys and house keys go into the front quick access pocket. Power bank goes into one of the large open spaces in the main compartment. Then my phone goes here. My wallet is placed in one of the zippered pockets so it's extra secure. AirPods and earphones go into the small slip pockets in front. Charging cable into the zippered pocket. Coins and cash can be safely kept here. And my passport goes into this large but thin compartment. You can easily take it anywhere using the carry handle or just pull the straps. This is what it looks like when the sling is in front. I'm 5'8 for your reference. This is the sling on my back. I like carrying it a bit lower but you can adjust it higher if necessary. It's just the right size for a compact pocket replacement for my quick access items. And this is what it looks like while I'm carrying my 40 liter TomTalk travel backpack. Link in the description for a full review. Imagine that you're using this as your one bag travel setup with all your essentials like passport, boarding pass, visa, your phone, wallet, and AirPods easily accessible in front of you. Once you reach your destination, if you don't like carrying bulky camera bags, you can also turn this into a minimalist camera sling. My mirrorless Sony A6000 with a 35mm lens is just the right size, and there's still space for my phone, wallet, and keys. Another benefit of the flexibility of turning your tech case into a sling is that you can pack it while standing up. Imagine how convenient this feature is. And once it's packed, you can just place it in your bag if you don't want to carry it anymore. Does the tech case stand on its own? Absolutely! Note that because of the way the straps are attached, the sling hangs diagonally when not on your body. This video is not sponsored by any of the brands mentioned, and all observations and opinions are based on personal use. To wrap things up, if you're looking for a tech case that can do it all, that you can bring anywhere, whether as a pouch to carry all of your tech EDC items, or as a minimalist sling or small camera bag, this alpaca tech case might be the one for you. If you need it to be smaller, there's the Elements Tech Case Mini, and if you want it bigger, there's the Elements Tech Case Max. For me, as a teacher, entrepreneur, and content creator, this size is just right. See you again on the next one. Bye bye